Hello everyone, this is Linda, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is Friday. Yay! Yo. I love Fridays. But about 3 o'clock this morning, um, this beautiful sound woke me up. It is called rain. Yeah, and it's still raining now, and I guess it's about 7.30, and it's still raining outside, so... I wanted to do this video out in the garden, but you know, change of plan. But anyway, so today I want to talk to you guys about my infused oils. I don't know if you guys remember a while ago, I was just experimenting with some oils on what can I do to uh, help my plants. Listen, I have a uh, cough drop in my mouth because of all of this so but um so I have some um lemon zest oil uh some orange zest oil this one I left out in the garden and I have some peppermint oil yeah so I went on this research and find out about insects but one of the insects I found out about, it was, it amazed me, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So, today I want to tell you about aphids. Yeah, aphids. Yeah, I found out some things about aphids that I really didn't know, and so here we go. First of all, they are called a parthogenesis. It's just a part of their makeup parthogenesis i'm gonna leave that right there for you so parthogenesis means that an animal or insect can reproduce without mating yeah no mating they don't need a man <laughs> yeah well they don't, <laughs> they don't need uh to mate so listen at this in the spring, when everything wakes up, the first aphids you see on any plants in your garden, they are females, all females aphids. So what she does, she has eggs, clones of her inside of her. She don't need to mate. So what happens is she has a baby and within the next 30 days she have 94 babies of course all females this and then what happens is there is this uh, sap inside of the stem or the leaves of our plants that aphids love it have the sugar in it for them but it have too much sugar for them so what happens is they have a gland inside of them that will ooze this extra sap out. And this extra sap is called honeydew. And this is the relationship between ants and aphids. Ants find this honeydew irresistible. So... What the ants does, the ants go on the plant and caresses the aphid. And that will make her produce this honeydew that the ants will then absorb. Then when the ladybugs come to eat the aphids, the ants mm -hmm, kill the ladybugs. So the ants are the protector of the aphids because they have that honeydew that they love. So, in the beginning, all the, the aphids are females. And they are all wingless. They cannot fly. But what happens is, when a plant gets too infested with too many aphids, the females begin to have females but they have wings and they fly to other plants and start this whole new colony of more aphids and all of them are clones of her 
another thing is that during at the end of the summer at the end of the summer that is when the females have male aphids but in the beginning they're all females I found it to be really interesting about how these insects and some animals uh, reproduce without mating. The kimono dragon is another one that is a parthenogenesis. He does not, she does not uh, mate to have babies. Yeah. So this is the thing, uh, what I found really interesting about it is that my thing was I wanted to find out how can I not only kill the insect, but I wanted to kill the egg and the babies. So with the aphids, if I kill the aphids, I got the babies. I kill the babies because there are clones inside of her. So what I do with my oils, this is the uh, peppermint or the peppermint oil and the lemon and the orange. Now you can use one at a time <clears throat> or you can use them all together. But I use a tablespoon of oil to a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Now I use dishwashing liquid just as long as it's not heavily scented. I'm sorry guys, but I have sinus problems with this weather. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's getting there. But anyway, um... You use um, a tablespoon of oil to a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid to 32 ounce bottle spray of water. And just, you know, just really drench that plant with those, with this solution. Three days, three days you should do this in a row and that would get rid of your aphids. Now, I'm not saying that they're not going to come back because you may have another one just flying out. And there she goes. She started her new colony. But it will definitely get rid of those aphids on that plant then and there. Okay. But um, I would ask that you guys go and, you know, check out that word. It's called parthenogenesis. And uh, just to um, know more about the insects and their life cycles and how we can um, at least control some of them on our vegetables. So I'm looking forward to this spring when we get started on our growing of uh, tomatoes. I'm really looking forward to the tomatoes. But anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great, great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope that this information is beneficial to you um and if you and if it was then go and hit that like button up there but uh have a great weekend and i'm gonna go and make me some more tea i had some here earlier and i'll go out and get some mint and put it in my um in my uh, tea so i can do something about this Ugh, it hurts just to cough but anyway, I'm gonna I'm be good. I'm gonna be good. <laughs> I'm gonna get there. You all have a good one. Later, y'all.